Hey guys, Tech Made Easy. How you guys doing? Hey, I hope you're having a nice summer. It's definitely getting hot. What I wanted to do today was I wanted to share just some things I've learned over the years um, about my lawn and a lot of the mistakes I've been making and the frustration. So maybe, just maybe, this will help you. I'm going to also ask if you can also comment below. You know, are there any things that you've learned? Um, do you agree with what I've learned? Um, comments, questions are always welcome. So let me start off. I've been a homeowner for over 12 years now. And I can tell you that I didn't have anyone to lean on when it came to lawn care. Even my neighbors next door, they weren't really helping much, which it is what it is. You can't force your neighbors, you know, to help you out. They see you breaking your butt, you know, and that's what I was doing. Um, in the beginning, I didn't have a problem, you know, just mowing the lawn. I didn't realize that I was supposed to be doing anything other than mowing the lawn, to be honest with you. So that was mistake number one, because after like two years or whatnot, uh, my lawn started to show, you know, some issues. So, you know, what happened is, as I started to think that I knew what I was doing, every year I would go and break my back. Every fall and every spring, and I'd be seeding and repairing the lawn. I'd be going out and buying really good soil and good seed, or at least I thought it was. And, uh, you know, and then what would happen is, you know, the, the lawn would look wonderful in the spring. And then when I would hit the hot weather, early July, mid-July my lawn would burn up like fire okay so once i seen that happening i went out and bought like a sprinkler system which i think you, you guys see that in my uh, lawn uh, playlist take a look at my lawn playlist you'll see uh, I, I got a couple of products that are great for watering but i mean i was committing to watering my lawn and the, there was mistake number two so i thought hey what what's wrong with water on a lawn well i was over watering all right number one i was over watering i was watering three times a day at times i was watering at night which you really don't want to do um you don't want to do the best time to water is early in the day when it's not that hot so the lawn can you know at least uh, take that water and use it middle of the day watering is not that great but sometimes it's needed but early in the day, but I was overwatering, and what happened was it created kind of a disease where my thatch, in between the lawn and the dirt, there's a, there's a layer, and it's called the thatch, and and it's okay to have a thatch from from what I've learned, and I don't know everything, but my thatch was way too thick, so what happened is my my lawn was growing into my thatch instead of getting to the soil, okay. Um, it was getting spoiled. I was actually training the grass based off of how I was watering versus training the grass to go deep into the soil, grow some strong roots, and, and find the moisture. And that becomes a strong lawn. So that was something that I had recently learned. And I'll tell you, that is a, that just makes so much sense. And if you want to talk about that, please let me know. Write a comment. I know it's not easy to understand, but we can go back and forth and I can help you understand it. Number two, biggest mistake, I wasn't feeding it consistently. Now, in the beginning, I wasn't feeding it at all. You know, in the first two years of owning the home, maybe even three. So then I learned about feeding it, but I wasn't feeding my lawn consistently. Okay, and that means lawn food and fertilizer. That also means grub control. I had found that I had some grubs and I didn't know what it was, but a section of my lawn kept dying really bad. And I was like, what's going on? To find out that that section actually had grubs. And grubs, basically, they love eating the roots of a lawn. That's what they do. Um, the other mistake I was making was I was cutting it too low. And, and honestly, I've been cutting it low for a long time. And this is the year that I am not going to cut the lawn low anymore. I'm going to stick to probably a five. I did a five today, by the way. I did a five today. And uh, so we'll see what happens. But 
Um, I talked to a couple of friends of mine in the lawn industry, and some of them tell me that they cut their lawn at the highest setting. Um, and they just have to cut it often. That's the difference. If you don't cut it often, you're going to you're going to create a, 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 an issue where all of a sudden, when you do finally cut it, you're going to have clumps of mulch on your lawn, and then it's going to clog your lawn. Mulch is normally healthy for a lawn, but when you have like two inches or three inch pieces of lawn that are clumping up, it's really not doing a good thing. Um, all right. So, bottom line, number one, you want to seed early in the fall, okay? Some people do it late summer, early fall. You want to seed, seed, seed if you really want your lawn to come in nice and thick. Number two, in, this, in every second or third year, you want to aerate your lawn. Now, aerate means that you go out to maybe a Home Depot and you can rent an aerator. It's a heavy machine, okay? and or you can pay someone you can pay someone to come and what that does is it actually plugs holes in your lawn like crazy it pulls out logs little little small little uh, um, pieces of dirt it, it's like a I wish I was able to show it to you okay if you see like a you know the wine cork okay it looks like wine corks and basically all through your whole lawn it will pull those out creating sec po pockets of air that's why they call it aeration what's good about that is it lets your lawn breathe and also the seed will go into those pockets when they seed it okay so aerate the lawn and then they overseed the lawn or you overseed your lawn and the the seeds go into those holes okay and that's probably every 2 to 3 years depending maybe maybe 4 years it just depends um, number number three, feed your lawn. Make sure that you're you're feeding your lawn fertilizer at the right times. Uh, if you have to put crab grass protection down, you know again that's done at a certain time. But when you're doing the crab grass protection, you're not going to be seeding your lawn because it it it's, it will work against seeding. So get on a program like Scotts. You know you can download their app, um, and they will tell you based off of your area and your zip code. Um, when you should be doing these things. It's helped me big time. Um, number four, treat for grubs. Make sure that you treat your lawn for grubs every so often um, to prevent grubs, okay, because the grubs eat the actual, you know, they go down there and they just eat, 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 and then your, your grass is dying and you don't know why. Water your lawn during a drought, all right? If it is hot and it is not expected to rain, you need to put some water on your lawn at least one inch a week depending on where you live but at least about one inch of water a week and you can leave a cup somewhere near your lawn if you need to measure what that inch looks like okay so you know you're putting it down um, take a look at the sprinkler videos that i have in my lawn playlist um, again water your lawn but not too much and bottom line you know when you when you don't Overwater your lawn you're training your lawn to be strong and grow long strong roots to get water deep within the soil i am now training my lawn i was never doing that over the last couple of years okay so guys hey i hope some of this information was helpful please give me a thumbs up if, if you like the video in any way if it's helped all right i'd appreciate that um, my, my lawn playlist will be up here. I'll leave that up there if you want to look at the lawn playlist. And then my Tech Made Easy logo is going to be right here. If you're a new subscriber, hey, take a moment, join the family, subscribe. Hit the view channel, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell, and you'll get notified of new videos. All right, thank you so, so much for watching the video. I hope it helped. I really put some thought to what I was going to say. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.